Okay, so I want to show you how I have my ALP set up as controller. So inside of Steam, if you go into settings, right, it comes down to controller over here and general controller settings. Cool, that brings up this uh, configuration setting. Normally it'll be detected as a generic controller. I have set mine up as an Xbox. I don't think it makes a difference. Right, and then we go define layout. So here's where you get to choose how your buttons on your ALP will map into a controller like setting. So primary action, tertiary, these are A, B, X, Y. I have these across the front. Primary action, I have as the at games play button. Go back, I have as uh, the at games logo. Tertiary, um, that's going to be um, the forward nudge. And then this is going to be the uh, rewind button, if you will. Left shoulder I have is the red button. Uh, oops. So left shoulder and right shoulder I have is the white nudge buttons on um, left and right of the side of the table. So those are the white buttons. D-pad, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then left stick Y, so I have that mapped to my plunger. That's going to be critical there. If you want, you can configure right stick X and Y to um, your nudges. And so you would do that by making sure you give a good nudge up uh, for Y and left and right for X. Um, and that'll give you like in-game table nudging if you want it. I found it to be too overly sensitive. I haven't quite dialed it in yet, but it does work. And then uh, left trigger and right trigger um, are going to be the red buttons. The red buttons on either side, which I use as my flippers. Cool. Uh, I'm not going to save any of those changes, but that's how you do that. Um, there we go. And then you definitely want to go into the calibration settings. Um, I turn on this lockout joystick navigation. You can see when I use my plunger, hey, look, that left stick is going to move, you know, just perfectly. Um, left stick dead zone, that's going to control where, you know, that plunger actually takes effect once it moves out of that red circle. So you want to make sure that this left stick dead zone is all the way down at the bottom. Um, if you have your nudges um, set, you'll see that in this right stick where I suggested uh, putting them. And uh, you will see this kind of jumping around even if the table's not moving. So you will need this dead zone set up to about stock, about 50% here. Otherwise you'll get a lot of just phantom nudges on the table. I don't recommend using the auto calibration here. Okay. Um, Next, for FX3 specifically, you want to right-click, go Manage, and then do Controller Configuration. <clears throat> you can see here I've used someone's profile, the At Games LP 1.0 Pinball FX3 with Plunder and Accelerometer V2. Um, so the way I got this was to browse configs and go Community, and there's some here right uh, already uploaded for us, and so it's the FOG one here listed that um, I've started with as the configuration. I didn't like the way he mapped his buttons, so I've done some other personal tweaks to them. The biggest one that you'll find is on this right joystick. Um, sorry, left joystick. I originally, he has it mapped to the right joystick, but then that can interfere with um, some issues inside of navigating FX3. So this is all normal, left joystick and left joystick you want here. Um, and then you want to click this additional settings, right? And so this stick response curve you can play with for how aggressive you want your plunger. Um, I found aggressive to work. Um, right now I'm using linear. Um, I kind of go back and forth deciding which one works better for me, but if you're not happy with the um, plunger sensitivity, this is how you configure it. Go linear. Um, I keep this on circle, and then I use calibration here. Um, you can also do configuration, and then you want dead zone inner all the way down and dead zone outer all the way up. You want off and off. This one is going to be key, the invert. Keep that off. Um, and then sensitivity, I have maxed out at 1.0. Sensitivity here is at zero. Doesn't matter. Um, and I don't think any of this uh, output anti-dead zone, zero and zero. So off. And that's what my setup looks like to allow me to play pretty lag-free inside of FX3. Again, if you want um, your table nudges with the machine and the accelerometer, that's going to be mapped to the right joystick, as I uh, suggested, and then you'll have to play with some of those um, same settings 
inside of here for your calibration and how effective you want it.